Hey there, it's Bree, and I have some monthly favorites plus a very special announcement to share with you today. So normally this would be when I would post my tea chat, but I am changing the format of my tea chats a little bit. I will talk about that later in the video. First, I want to start with my monthly favorites because I have some really good ones this month. The very first monthly favorite I want to talk about is again, this is the second time this company has made it onto my favorites. And even though this is sponsored and they did send me the jewelry for free, I am obsessed with this company and I wouldn't have included it in a favorites video if it wasn't actually a favorites. And that is Ana Luisa Jewelry. They are my new favorite jewelry brand. I am actually wearing a set of earrings right now. This is a beautiful gold dangly heart and it's so pretty. What I love about their jewelry, pretty much all the jewelry that I have from them, this necklace is also from them, is that you can wear it dressy or wear it every day. And like, I seriously, these are like the only earrings and things that I wear anymore. And it's a little bit sad because right before I got the jewelry, I had actually just bought a bunch of earrings and things and I've been wearing nothing but Ana Luisa jewelry. So these are definitely on my favorites list this month, along with these earrings that are so unique and beautiful. These earrings are hoop earrings, but they have a little dangly chain on them and I am so deeply obsessed with them. They look so freaking cute on, and actually I almost feel like I could put them together and wear both of these, like one in my second hole, but I am obsessed with Ana Luisa. And actually this weekend is Mother's Day and they actually have a Mother's Day sale going on right now. It's 15% off, and I don't believe you need a code or anything to get 15% off. But if you are in the US and you want it by Mother's Day, you have to order by May 5th, which is today. So today's the last day to order if you want it by Mother's Day. These are such great gifts for Mother's Day because jewelry is something like as a mother, jewelry is something that, especially jewelry that is high quality. And this jewelry is not very expensive. It has prices from $39. So it's not expensive, but it feels expensive. But it's something that I normally wouldn't buy for myself. As a gift, I feel like this is perfect. So again, I will have the link down below to Ana Luisa Jewelry. I also list the jewelry that I mentioned in this video. I will link it down below so you can get that 15% off for Mother's Day. And if you order it today, it's the last day you can order it to get it in time for Mother's Day. So yes, I love Ana Luisa Jewelry. I talk about them all the time. They're my favorite jewelry brand and I'm not a big jewelry person so I never thought that I would have a favorite jewelry brand because the prices are so good for the quality that you get also all their jewelry is sustainable as well so you can feel good buying jewelry from them and they have a lot of super unique pieces that are wearable my next favorite is actually something I have been making they are these little reusable makeup wipes so for the longest time, like I would take my makeup off first with micellar water and I would use like a cotton round or one of the cotton squares and I would take my makeup off that way. So I was throwing away and using a lot of cotton squares and cotton rounds and I found a pattern to make these fun reusable makeup wipes. So I can just wash these and they're so easy to make. I'll listen to an audiobook while I make these. So I just take like a cotton fabric and then the other side and this particular one is a flannel fabric but another one that I make is one that's made with microfiber and it takes off the makeup really well. Another way that I use these is I'll I'll usually like after I take my makeup off initially with micellar water it doesn't get all of the makeup off so I will take coconut oil and I'll kind of like rub it all over my face and really get like any waterproof makeup off of my face and then I'll wet one of these and wipe the oil off of my face and then I'll go through with like my regular nighttime face washing routine but these have come in handy and I just pop them in the washer and I reuse them again. We're saving the planet and looking cute while we do it. Next on my list is kind of an oldie but a goodie. I have been using this forever and there is a funny kind of bookish story that goes along with this product. It is the Dionys Goat Milk Skin Care. It is a goat milk white jasmine and shea in particular lotion. I have tried a couple of their other scents and they smell really, really good but this one just happens to be my favorite. The other scent that I really like is called Love, and it comes in like a pump bottle like this or like a little hand cream bottle. I have both. I have the hand cream bottle by my computer, and then this one I keep on my bedside because I put it on my feet all the time. But what I love about this is not only the scent, but the actual product itself. I am very picky when it comes to lotion. I don't like thick lotion. I feel like it gets sticky in my hands and I don't like how it feels. This sinks into the skin but still moisturizes it and it's very lightweight and it dries down 
pretty well without getting like sticky. It just leaves your hands and your skin very smooth, but not sticky and it's not thick and gross and the smell isn't overwhelming. Like I have a few Bath and Body Works lotions, but they are such a strong smell that it gives me a headache and I hesitate to use them. That's not the case for this one. So like I said, I do have a bookish story related to this. The very first time that I used this lotion, I think I got it in a beauty box of some sort and I was using it when I was reading Outlander for the first time and then watching Outlander for the first time. Anytime I smell this lotion, it makes me think of Jamie. <laughs> so it just like, this is my Jamie lotion. So in my head, this is what Jamie smells like. And I love it so much. It's it's really, really good. This is like my fifth bottle. I re like I don't repurchase makeup and skincare things very often because I like trying new things, but this is the only lotion that I don't hate. And then I had to bring this one up because not only because I love it, but also because I get questions about my lipstick all the time and everyone's like, what lipstick are you wearing? And I'm like, oh, it's a lip pencil. And most of the lip pencils that I'm wearing come from this set that I got from ColourPop. So this set I think has, Violet counted them for me. I think it has like what, 25, 28, 30? I think it has around 25 or 30 lip pencils in it. It comes in this fun little case. I don't know if you can see. It says ColourPop down at the bottom, but it's so like kind of washed out right now. I don't know if you can see. But it has these buttons at the side here. And it has a bunch of lip pencils. Some of them are upside down. Violet likes to play with these, so they always get disorganized. So there are a couple of sets. So there's a set like this one that comes with like the entire vault or you can get a smaller set that only comes with like maybe 10 or 15. And like I said, a lot of the lipsticks that I'm wearing are not actually lipstick, it's lip pencil. I can be much more precise with a lip pencil and these are easy to sharpen. They actually, they also sell pencil sharpeners as well, but I believe which one am I wearing right now? I am wearing this one right here right now. So this one is, I heart this, that's what I'm wearing right now. The thing is, is that in this set, I feel like there's a lot of these that I wear that aren't sold individually. They're only sold in this set, but is absolutely worth the money. I would say wait for a sale because their lip products go on sale really often. So I wouldn't pay full price for this, I didn't, but it's definitely worth it because it has a bunch of really fun colors. And I feel like when you buy a set like this, you're more inclined to try some bolder colors than you normally would. Like I think I would probably lead more toward individually buying some of the more neutral colors, but because I bought this, I'm willing to wear some brighter colors because I can try them out and see that maybe they don't look so bad. Also, this case is super, super convenient. I have super oily, acne prone skin, and I am very, very hesitant to use moisturizer because I'm afraid it's gonna make my skin oily, and there have been cases where it just feels heavy. This does not feel heavy at all. This is the best moisturizer I've ever used. It's the Murad Hydration. I got this during the Ulta Beauty sale, so it was like 50% off. It's usually pretty expensive, but I only use a tiny, tiny bit. I use this in the morning and at night, and it really has helped my skin not be as oily because it's already hydrated. My skin doesn't feel like it has to produce a lot of oil and it's a gel and it smells so good. So this is all I've used and I had it for over a month. I only use a tiny, tiny bit. I mix a couple of other serums into this in the morning, but at night this is all I use and it feels so good on my face. It dries down and it works really well under makeup. And then my last favorite is actually these acne patches. So like I said, I have acne prone skin. It's usually around my period. Sometimes when I ovulate, I get acne and these acne patches are great because this actually has tea tree oil in it. If you haven't used the acne patch before, these are kind of amazing. Like if, especially if you have like a white head, so it's at the point where you would normally pop it, you put one of these on at night and when you wake up in the morning, it's almost like it has popped and it like shrinks down significantly. These aren't great for when you first are getting a zit and it's like still under the skin and a little sore. It's best for like the white head type of zits, but it works like a charm and I like that it has tea tree oil in it. And I've tried a ton of different acne patches and this has been the best one so far. And what I love about this is that it comes in a bunch of different sizes. You get a 120 of these in a pack and I feel like in the ones that I've gotten from Target and stuff I got this from Amazon but the ones that I get from Target and stuff you only have like nine in there and I'm like dude I have way more zips than that <laughs> so 120 in this pack and I've been loving them okay so that is it for my favorites now let's talk about my special announcement so I am super super excited for this announcement and also a little bit nervous but I decided to start the membership program here on my channel so the first thing that you need to know is that there will not be any other changes there will only be 
one change to my main channel. Everything else will stay the same. You'll still have access to all the videos and I will still be making all the same videos that I always make. The only change will be my tea chats. So I'm going to move my tea chats over to membership level so that only members can see it. But I will be doing my favorites videos on my main channel. Like I'll do a non-bookish favorites video every month on my main channel. It's just that the personal version where I talk about what's going on in my life, what's coming up in my life. And I sit down and I have a video where it's almost like we're having tea and we're talking and I'm just like updating you on life. That's going to move over to a membership level. The membership plan to me was exciting because it's a much more personal level. Like if someone cares enough to have special content, then I feel like I can open up a little bit more and I feel a little less weird about talking about personal things and like my everyday life and everything on a member site that's a little bit more restricted, if that makes sense. But I don't want ever want anyone to feel like they have to subscribe to the membership. Like I am not gonna think any less of you. You will still have access to all the videos. I'm still going to appreciate you as much as I always do just for watching the videos, whether you like and comment or subscribe or whatever. I still appreciate every single view that I get. I'm still surprised that I get any views at all, that anyone cares about the books I read and especially that anyone cares about my personal life. So I will be moving the tea chats over to the membership level and it will probably be more podcast style. Um, I may occasionally do a video version of it, but I'm not really sure if I will. And then also on the membership level, I will be doing monthly reading vlogs that the members get to choose what I read. So the reading vlog will be available on my main channel. So everyone will still be able to see those videos, but members will be able to choose the books that I read. So depending on how many members I have, I don't anticipate having a lot of members. So it's a high likelihood that the book that you want me to read, I will actually read. If there are multiple books and I don't think I can read them all in one reading vlog, I will take a vote. Maybe I'll do a spinner wheel or something if there are enough. But like I said, I don't anticipate having a ton of members. So if you are a member, it is likely that you will be able to choose what I read and I will do a spoiler reading vlog, like update you as I'm reading it and my thoughts as I read it in that reading vlog and then it'll be posted to my main channel. Also, you will have access to other exclusive content from me. So there will be like a members only area where only members can see posts from me. So I'm planning on posting there regularly and also doing other content. So maybe a podcast with JT. I've already talked to JT about it and we might do maybe like a personal discussion podcasts. Maybe we'll do like regular Q and A's. Maybe it'll be me and my dad. Cause I'm actually, I'm thinking that if it's a lot less people and it's not open to the public, my dad will be more likely to come on and chat with me. Maybe my mom, my sisters, my brother. We'll see. I might do some more like personal content like that in my in the membership level, and then maybe other videos here and there. I'm hoping to do regular giveaways for my members. And yeah, so I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be a bit of a trial basis at first. So I'm going back to work in person in August. So I'm going to do this for the next few months just to see how it goes. And if it goes really well, then I will continue with the membership program. I may open up new levels, but for right now, we're only going to have the one level and it's going to be called the In Love and Words Fam level and it's $4.99 a month. To me, I totally understand that that is not feasible for everyone and I will absolutely not think any less of you if you cannot be a member but I appreciate it if you can. The regular content will still be there. I will still have all the regular videos except for one. The tea chats will just be a favorites video on the main channel and then the more personal stuff will be on the membership side. It just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable sharing more personal stuff to a smaller audience that like cares. <laughs> That's kind of the thought behind it. So if you are interested, I think you can see down below next to the subscribe button, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a join button and you can just click that button and join the members and you'll be there. And I may add other things, but for right now, the things that are definitely happening in the membership level is going to be the tea chats, which will be a podcast version. And they'll also, you will also get to choose what I read every month. That's pretty exciting. That was it. That was my big announcement. I hope you guys are excited as I am. I'm also super nervous about it because I'm also like, who would want to do that but you know it's fine it's fine that's just my imposter syndrome here but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed some of my favorites let me know what some of your favorites that are non-bookish are down in the comments below thank you so much for watching and as always happy reading